Hey friends! Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell button beside it so you won't gonna miss any of my videos. And in today's video, I'll be doing a comparison review of my two Peri Peri Slip Tints. So if you wanna know what I've got to say about them, then please keep on watching. I don't know if you're familiar with Peripera Slip Tints, but as of what I know, it's been a hype for quite a while. And like legit, a lot of people has been asking or has been like doing reviews, been saying, been raving about it that it's a really, really nice lip tint. So, of course, I'm curious ang lola nyo. Ito, trinay ko. And nagulat ako kasi may iba, iba palang klase ng Peripera Slip Tint. Um, so ako, dalawa yung napili ko. Okay. Uh, I'm not talking about the shade. I'm talking about dun sa kinds ng peri lip tints. So, meron ako ditong Paris Ink the Velvet. And meron ako din ditong Airy Ink the Velvet. So, iba-iba pala siya. I thought pag sinabing peri isang lip tint lang siya. Isang klase lang siya ng lip tint. But, I'm wrong. So now, I'll be doing like a comparison. What's the difference between the two? Okay. Same question that I asked myself nung gusto kong bumili ng peripera. So, baka, di ba? Baka lang makatulong sa inyo if in case, up until now, you're still wondering what's the difference between these two um, lip tips. Um, let me just show you quickly the packaging of these two. So, sa isang tingin, or at first glance, wala talaga silang pinagkaiba, right? Pero makikita nyo, itong... Itong Airy Ink the Velvet, wala siyang ganito. Wala siyang ink. Yung parang brush, wala. Ayan o. Ito meron, ito wala. So, yun. Isa nyo ng clue yun. Kapag yung Airy yung gusto nyo bilhin, makikita nyo wala siyang brush dito. Kapag naman yung Paris Ink Velvet lang, meron siya dito. And wala naman sobrang kakaiba sa kanila. It's just like a box. Sim simple packaging. It contains yung shade, number, sa ilalim. And this one it says 2, this one it says 12. Pero meron din sila sa taas at may English transla translation sila. So this one, pretty orange pink and, and the, on the other one, pure peach. Yeah. So, hindi kasi ito nag-focus. But anyway, yeah. Um, ito, itong peach, ito siya. And then this one, para siya dito. So, ano nga ba pinagkaiba nitong airy ink the velvet at itong um, ink velvet. So, let's do a swatch. Okay, try na natin tong airy, which is ito yung pinakasikat na variant. And then, ito naman next, pure peach. Okay. So, I've been using this one for a few months now, so masasabi ko talaga sa inyo na yung consistency netong the velvet, sobrang thick niya. It is thicker than dito sa airy. Itong airy, napaka-light, napaka-soft. So, yun. Yun na yung isa kong napansin sa kanila. Thick. Masyadong thick tong walang airy. Itong ink the velvet. Sobrang thick niya. As compare mo dito sa airy. Okay. Now, let me give you a lip swatch. I'm gonna remove what I have on my lips. So, let's start dito sa Airy, uh, sorry, let's start dito sa Fairy's Ink Velvet. Okay, so ayan siya. Nude lang yung color nito, it's pure peach, so light lang talaga siya, and Ang na-observe ko talaga sa kanya, hmm, it blends easily, pero hindi siya madaling i blurred out kasi ma-thick yung consistency niya. So, mabiblend siya, pero alam mo yun, may konting lagkit. Tsaka alam mo na may suot ka. Kaya, yan. Ito, ito yung Paris Ink Velvet. So now, itry naman natin itong Airy Ink the Velvet. Okay. And personally, mas gusto ko yung... Ah, by the way, mabilis lang din itong matanggal. See? 
wala na siya. Tanggal na. Wipes lang yung ginagamit ko. Wet wipes. Now, itry naman natin yung isa. Definitely, mas lighter. Pagpasensyahan nyo na yan. Mark yan ng aking nakaraan na pinfalls. Eta, super easy i-blurred out. These two are definitely not the kind of lip tint na drying. They're moisturizing. Plus, hindi sila water-based. So, easy to blend. Hindi sila yung mabilis na nagsiset sa lips mo. Ayan. There you have it. This is the shade of Airy Ink the Velvet Pretty Orange Tint. At first, parang naging parang orange siya pag spinach mo, diba? Ito siya, oh. Para siyang red-orange. Pero kapag blinad mo na siya sa lips mo, naging pink na siya. Color also is buildable. So, kung feeling mo, light, dagdagan mo lang. So, this, I can feel uh, na sobrang lightweight niya. Parang walang nakalagay sa lips mo. As compared dito na feel na feel mo na mayroon nakalagay sa lips mo. So, ayun yung major difference nila. But, um, sa pigmentation, sa uh, longevity, pareho lang naman sila. Um, para sa akin, itong mga Paris Lip Tint, um, I cannot really say na sila yung parang longest wearing na lip tint na masasabi ko. Hindi sila ganun ka long lasting kasi yung pony effect talaga yung pinaka long lasting pa rin sa akin up until now tsaka yung karadium na naubos ko na di ko di ko na nagawa na review na ubos ko na siya sa so sobrang madalas ko siyang gamitin kasi ganun siya ka long lasting pero ito i am i would say na mabilis din siyang nawawala like kapag uminom ka ng tubig and all pero um dito sa dalawa mas matagal tong nawawala as compare dito Take yung consistent niya, so mas mabilis lang din siyang nawawash off. So, ayun. Ayun lang naman yung major difference na napansin ko. And by the way, this two um, peripheral lip tints, I bought this sa um, Shopee. Pero yung seller, sure ako na Korean or authentic yung product niya. Kasi um, outside of Shopee, kilala ko na talaga yung nagbibenta nun. And siya talaga yung usually na hinahanap ko kapag gusto kong mag-try out ng mga Korean products. And this I bought for 350 pesos each. Okay? 350 pesos each. So, if you're planning, I'll be putting the link down below nung shop na madalas kong pinagbibilhan sa Facebook and sa Shopee. And yeah, um, I guess that is it for this video. Oh, by the way, mm, I forgot. Okay. Oh, by the way, about the smell, itong Paris Ink the Velvet, to. Sobrang bango. Like, amoy ano siya? Um, amoy, um, amoy prutas. Ganon. While this, itong peripher, uh, itong airy ink the velvet. Ang baho niya, amoy siya, ano, ano ba yun? Lagi ako nalalagyan. Amoy siyang sobrang tapang na sabon. Ganon. Sobrang tapang na sabon. Hindi sabon panlabay kasi mabango pa yung sabon panlabay. Parang dishwashing soap. Ganon. Or basta weird yung amoy niya. Amoy panlina siya na sobrang tapang. So, yun lang ng downside nito. Although, gustong gusto ko na to kasi lightweight siya. Mas long lasting siya. Ang baho niya. As compared dito na sobrang 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 bango. Ito, I usually mix it with like a darker color kasi super nude niya sa akin. But apart from that, wala naman silang masyadong pinagkaiba. Packaging nila ganyan lang. Okay, I believe you already know this. Para silang mga nasa ink bottle. Pero ito matigas to. Hindi to na the drop. Na the drops. <laughs> matigas to. Yan siya. Matigas siya. And yan. And I think each of them has 8 grams of product or 0.28 pounds. Okay. And then, it says here in the packaging that this one, um, this peripheral lip tints will expire 12 months after opening. So, you have roughly a year to consume before siyang ma-expire. Which I think, pretty much fair na. Kasi one year, girl. Mag-lip tint ka araw-araw. Kung di pa yan maubos, di ba? Okay. So, yeah. That is it for my comparison review between these two lip tints. 
And if you're gonna ask me if they're definitely worth the try, yes, they're worth the try, pero para sa akin, mix pa rin yung magiging opinion. Kasi yung iba talaga, they're like raving about it na super ganda, super ganda, super ganda, ganito, ganito. But yung iba naman, parang nagtaka sila, bakit nila nire-rave ganyan? Kasi guys, it all boils down to preference. Yung iba, mas gusto nila yung lip tint nila na water-based o kaya ay gel-based. Uh, gel, water-based or yung iba gel tint. So, yung iba, hindi nila bet yung mga consistency na mousse or velvety, parang ganito. Ito kasi hindi siya water-based, hindi siya gel tint. Para siyang mousse, para siyang velvety texture. So, yung iba kasi, hindi nila bet yung ganon. So, it all, it all boils down to what your preference is. So, kung mas prefer mo yung mga lip tint na ma-water, ma-gel tint, hindi mo ito magugustuhan. Okay? Pero kung ikaw yung tipo ng tao na ma-cream, ma-mousse, ma-velvety type, just like me, super super mabibet, mabibetan mo to at maintindihan mo kung bakit siya nire-raid. Lalo sa Korea kasi, di ba sa kanila uso yung ibi-blurred out mo, hindi yung pack na kulay. Mas uso kanila yung blurred out, yung lips gradient. And, kung hanap mo or kung gusto mo mag-gradient lips, perfect na perfect na perfect to. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you did like it. And if you do, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell button. So, you know, you'll be able to watch my other videos. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you again on my next one. Bye! Listen to my heart, baby, baby.